morning, everybody. It's Sally, and I'm greenlighting my day this morning with some reflections on a word. One word, a very powerful word. Home. When I got up this morning, I always read what I've missed on Facebook, as you know, and I, I found a quote that I wanted to really start my day with. Because when I read it, a lot of thoughts flooded my mind, and I thought, what a good way to unpack Sometimes it's easier to just find one little nugget and sit with it and, and, and go from there. And that worked well for me. So this is really just my two cents. And I encourage you to think for yourselves and green light your day your own way. My roomy quote for the day, my love roomy. If light is in your heart, you will find your way home. If light is in your heart, you will find your way home. That uh, asks the question, what is home? What is home to you? So I wrote a little something on Facebook. I'm just going to read it. And then we'll talk about it if you want. Here we go. Home. Such an emotionally evocative word so many layers of meaning, as individual as the interpreter. Is it a place, a memory, a feeling? My heart's true home is not a physical manifestation in its deepest sense. It is a place hands cannot touch, eyes cannot see. It is a place deep within of connection and contentedness. Fully present and eternal. For me, home. I'll read that one more time. For me, home is not a place hands can touch and eyes can physically see. It is a place deep within of connection and contentedness. A place where I am fully present and eternal. It is the feeling underneath the things that we see with our eyes. A familiar place, a beloved person, a memory. It is a place of being without physical walls. Some might call it our center, our true north, the place from which we came into life. God, the universe, we all seek it. It is wired into us. We are restless in our pursuit, home. Today I bid you all to just be, to let your light burble up from within you to the surface and let that light lead you home. So what is home to you? I mean, there's so many ways you could say it. You can start on the surface level. It's the house I was raised in. It's the family I was raised with. It was the first emotional safe place I felt connected to with another group of people that were not my natal family. Uh, it was in school. It was the people who took me in all the time, you know, when things weren't good at my house, or it was the first time I I really got it. I felt totally connected with another thing outside myself and felt that total interconnectedness and peace and acceptance. And, and that could be a moment in nature, a mountaintop experience, whatever that is, a place of love and acceptance and feeling good enough. It could be anything that speaks to you. 
We long and long and long for home, but what is home? You kind of have to know what you're looking for, don't you? I thought I'd look up a couple of quotes about home, and I wanted to share a couple with you. This one I particularly liked. I've never heard it, uh, and I was surprised to see who wrote it. Home is a place not only of strong affections, but of entire unreserve. It's life's undress rehearsal. It's back room. It's dressing room. Life. Life. Home is a place. Home is a place of unreserve. It's life's undress rehearsal. It's dressing room. Home is life's dressing room. Don't you just love that image? I do, because being in the theater, I get that whole image. Harriet Beecher Stowe wrote that. Harriet Beecher Stowe wrote Uncle Tom's Cabin during the Civil War. It was a very um, uh, world-changing book, and it was done a lot on stage at the time, too. Uh, it was about the horrors of slavery. Excuse me. I thought that was very interesting. That is what home is for me. Life's unreserved place. You can be totally unreserved. And it's life's dressing room. Life's undress rehearsal is home. I love that. Undress rehearsal. Um, this other woman wrote peace. That was another name for home. That's what it is for me. A place of peace. When I walk through the woods when I'm rambling... Often, 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 there'll be this mossy covered bank, this little place that's like a little tiny clearing with a tree that might overarch, and, and some, maybe there'll be a little, I'm sure there'd always be a little piece of water running by it, a little piece. And I always say, sometimes I say it out loud to Mary as we're walking, if I could just live right here, if I could just pitch a little tent and stay right here, it's perfection. It's that little slice of heaven. That is home. The way I feel when I think about it, that is home. The way I feel when I'm out and I see the majesty that surrounds me and the beauty of nature, that interconnectedness, I feel home. So what is home to me? It's as big as the universe. It's as small as the mossy piece that, that covers a stone wall tiny little flower in the crack of the sidewalk, that little robin that's perched and singing to me, I'm home. When I find the thing that draws me in and centers me right there, and I'm just grateful to be alive in that moment, that center of contentment and joy and interconnectedness with the universe, with relationships, Relationships are a lot trickier than the beauty of nature. I am home. Do I want to be home in the bosom of my family? Yes. Do I always have more trouble envisioning that being all that I want it to be? Without fear of hurt? <laughs> yes. So home, my happiest place, as much as I would love it to be in the the bosom of a wonderful, loving family, that's going to be much harder for me to find in the moment with any expectations that I'm bringing up from ba baggage. I, um, I'm safer out there with the plant material <laughs> in the sky, <laughs> Sarah. I feel at home with my Facebook family in so many ways. I don't feel recrimination and judgment. I feel at home... Um, when I was rehearsing the panto this last Sunday night with the gang and doing the dancing, it's sort of that theatrical thing when you're in the theater. It's that safe place with the people who you know really love you unconditionally. That's home. I hope you all have some place that you find that in your life. If not, keep looking. And let your light come up and let it guide you. Let it guide you. Um, I'll read one more and then I'll let you go. Oh, there's so many. 
I'll do this one. You need a village, if only for the pleasure of leaving it. A village means that you are not alone, knowing that in it the people, the trees, the earth, there is something that belongs to you, waiting for you when you are not there. That's by a gentleman named Caesar Pavese. I've never heard of him. I've never read this quote until I just started to read it right now. I thought, what if this is terrible and I didn't pick the right quote to start with? But to me, it was perfect because all I had to do was see the trees. So see, a village means that you're not alone. A place, a home means you're not alone. Knowing that in it, the people, if it's people for you, the trees, if it's trees for you, the earth, there is something that belongs to you. I belong to me. My place of belonging is home, wherever that is. I hope you all find your special home. I'll see you guys later. Bye.